Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video I will speak about my socket chat uh, project and I will learn you how you can send a message from our client here to our socket server and when the socket server uh, receives this message it will append it to a message stack and then I return the message. So that's the basic what you want to learn in this video. So let's uh, go ahead. First we want to go in for our Python code. In this we want um, to make one where we say uh, we copy this and what we do here it's say send send message client send message send message and then what we want to do here it's uh, say to the message and then we want to append and what we want to append it's the color what color we want and the username and then we want to push uh, push the message of course and we have the data we want to receive and the data should be data message the data user and then we have the data color that's what we want to send in from our client so let's uh, oh yeah and then we need to admit message here after we have appended we want to make a call back to the client and then we're going back to our file here and then we need down here and the succeeds here we want to say click should be send message and we need the method here methods And then we have the data we need to say message it's empty and then we want to say the input here should be vmodel oops and we'll bind it to a message so every time we type in in the browser the message will be fill out and then we want to to sending the meshes out for the socket and it's happened to say e prevent default and it's event handler and then this socket admit message and the data we want to send it should be the color and the user and the message and when we have admit this we need to clear the message to nothing that's meaning when we have sent it the message it will be uh, clear so it should be the empty field after we have uh, put to send and then we want to see in the console what happened So if we're going back here and reload, now I need to say that the, the user, sorry, let's say ABC, that's what the, the color we want. And then we say the user, the user could be user 4, just so we have something here. And then we say, can I have space here? And then we click send and you can see we have, can we have space here? and we send the message here to the website. The styling is a little bit 
weird, but I will close this down and send a new one. Say hello from user user four. So now we have five messages, and if I'm sending again, I think we got six messages. And now you can see the styling here; it's not so nice. So what we can do is going back to our Python code, and of course, if I just press sending here, you can see it just sending out here. And I think if you do it this way, you can just sending out. You can see a lot of space here, and we want to prevent this user. So I will zoom in again and say 175 and then we're going to a Python code and what we want to hear it's saying whoops if club if data message striped is different from nothing right, then we allow then we are allowed to send it else we will say empty message and then we can save it and now it should prevent us to sending something and yes and that's fine and that's cool so that's how it's going on and how we're sending message back what i really want to do here for the last one is because we have everything over five messages look weird in this design so let's play around and say we only want the limit about uh, five messages so in this case the client sending the message in and say length of the message and it's more than five then we need to say print pop the old pop the old message from the message queue sorry for the spelling and then we need message pop zero and then it should be done so let's do it again here test one test two test three hello world welcome to socket cocket chat yeah should be socket i can go up here and edit to uh, say socket and you can see the, the chat is going away and going back it's reset and say test one Test two and test three. That's how we're doing, and that's how you're sending a message from there one. And I can open the chat so you can see we have one more here. And I can fill something out here and go and say user test. This will be empty, and this is not empty. I can send this back, and and everything is fine. But I not receive it back, so that will be the next. Um, the next tutorial where I'll show how we will receive on cross of the users. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about WebSocket, please make it in comments below. I'll try to answer as fast as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you want to watch my next video for this WebSocket project. Thank you so much, and you can subscribe my channel in the right corner on the right and press on the thing. Then you want to subscribe to my channel and get more views from me. Thank you so much and see you next time.